In this video, we will be covering how to add applications manually in Server and Application Monitor. Modern IT infrastructures require system administrators to be flexible and able to adjust to constant changes in their environments. There will be times when you need to modify the applications that are monitored for a specific node. For instance, a new application may be added to a server, or monitoring requirements for existing applications may have changed. In such cases, the most direct way to address these changes would be to simply add applications manually. SAM allows system administrators to add applications to a node in simple and straightforward ways. Specifically, new applications can be added by using the Add New Application Monitors wizard, or they can be added using the Manage Templates page. As both of the processes are different, we will demonstrate them both. First, we will cover the New Application Monitor wizard. Starting from the SAM Summary page, click the SAM Settings button. In the Getting Started with SAM section, click the Manually Assign Application Monitors link. Next, you will need to find the template for the application you wish to monitor. SAM's templates are sorted by the various tags that are added to each template. To sort through the available templates in SAM, click on the drop-down labeled Show Only. This will provide you a list of tags to assist you in selecting the correct template. For the purposes of our tutorial, we will be adding an SQL Applications template to an existing SQL server. Click on the drop-down menu and select SQL Server. Please note that this is sorted in alphabetical order. Once you've selected SQL Server, a list of available templates will be displayed. We will be selecting the Reporting Services template. Then click Next. This will take us to a page where we will need to choose which node to apply this template to. Nodes can be grouped together in various ways, for example, IP address, location, system name, or operating system vendor. Also note that you can take advantage of the search feature to search for a specific node. We will be applying this template to a Windows machine. Let's expand the Windows group and select the node that it will be assigned to. You can assign the selected application template to multiple nodes by checking the box next to their names and clicking the green arrow. Then click the Next button to complete the node selection. All of the nodes of a specific type can be selected by selecting the checkbox next to the group. Here you will choose the credential used in monitoring the application. The two options we have to choose from are Inherit Credentials from Template or Assigned a Custom Credential. We will choose Inherit Credential from Node and click Test. If successful, the results will show finished successfully with up status in green, letting us know that the credentials have been verified. Once this is done, to finalize the process, we will click Assign Application Monitors. This will take us to a screen that will restate the changes that we've made. To exit, simply click on Done. The other way that templates can be assigned manually is through the Manage Application Monitor Templates page. To access the Manage Applications Monitor page from the SAM Summary screen, click on SAM Settings. In the Application Monitor section, click on the Manage Templates link. The Manage Applications Monitor page is separated into two sections. On the left is a list of all the templates sorted by their tags, and on the right is a table that displays information about each of the templates. Here we can create new templates, assign templates to existing nodes, delete templates, and more. For our purposes, we will again choose SQL Server from the list of tags on the right. Again, we will select the Reporting Services template and then click Assign to Node. This will bring us to the same Manage Templates page we just covered in the Template Wizard. From this point forward, the two processes are the same. If you have further questions or you would like to learn more about manually add applications in SAM or any other topic covered in this series, Visit our support page where you can find our admin guides, knowledge base, and our community forums.